this month of November, we shall resume that service. That announcement by the Ministry of Transportation came after about eight months of suspending services on the Abuja Kaduna rail line following the attack on the tracks by bandits. 13 days to the end of November, the Kubwa train station remains a ghost town. The environment is deserted and no officials of the Nigeria Railway Corporation is in sight, while the usual hustle and bustle at the station have disappeared. There is no activity going on at the Kubwa train station, which you can see behind me. On a normal day, you will see vehicles of passengers parked at that uh, car park. But today, the place is barricaded and we're not even allowed to go beyond this point. So we have to stop here. At the Idu train station, the situation is the same, though some trains are warming up. The environment is deserted. The silence here is palpable and the absence of vehicles at the car park behind me shows that no activity is taking place at the Idu train station. However, some Nigerians seem anxious to see the train stations come back to life. Please, they should hurry up and open the place because uh, transportation now is very expensive. Look at, look, looking at things in Nigeria, now everything is, has gone up seriously. So if they could hurry up and bring the railway station, it, I think it's better. It will help the masses. As a poor man, we can't be able to enter plane. We don't have money. Even to eat in the house is a problem. Talk less of even enter plane. But through railways, it helps the poor to convey us from one place to another. If federal government can look into and call back, then we are happy. As the government remains silent on the specific date for the resumption of the Abuja Kaduna train services, Nigerians are asking if the government will keep to its promise of resuming operations this November. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.